This here is my friend, and I'm about to convince him to come watch the Thunderbolts with me. But he is no ordinary man. He's very busy and simply asking him won't cut it. But I have devised an evil plan that will almost definitely convince him into watching this movie with me. And that is to find out what this asterisk in the Thunderbolt title means. But before I get into it, this is just a theory, and theory can only take you so far so you have been warned. To find the answer to this question, I turn to the English language. <laughs> and found out that there are five possible uses of an asterisk. The first being multiplication? Wait, no, that's not it. So the first reason is actually a form of censorship, which is highly unlikely since Marvel aren't going to put a literal swear word in their title, otherwise Captain America might show up to the scene. Aye. And there isn't really anything to censor in this title, and I've tried every possible combination you can think of to see if it will get censored and nothing. Now, second reason that an asterisk is used is often as a clarification, and this might actually be true. We see this used all the time in ads, with a statement often being written in a big font and then an asterisk at the bottom with a smaller font telling us the real truth behind the message. Like the ad says something about buying this car, but then the smaller print says that you have to be above 18, that type of thing. So something similar could happen, since in the comics, the group isn't actually named after Thunderbolt Ross, aka the Red Hulk, though at a later point he does join the group which might happen since this does take place after Captain America Brave New World, but the timeline we won't actually know until the movie comes out. And he might end up losing his presidential seat because he is the Red Hulk and end up joining the Thunderbolts at the end of their own movie. So this asterisk could be used by Val in this movie to signify that this team has no relation to Ross. And the name of the team might just be inspired by him or just named Thunderbolts because Thunderbolts are just cool. And naming a team Val just doesn't have the same ring to it. But by subscribing to the channel, you might just get an anti-hero team named after you. The third reason might be because there's a footnote attached with the title. Now footnotes are often used to give citation, which in this case doesn't seem necessary unless if Marvel are literally citing their own comic books, it's pretty pointless. They can also be used to give extra context to what the information is talking about, without ruining the flow of a sentence. This movie could simply execute this by explaining something in the movie, perhaps something along the lines of These guys may look like the anti-hero version of the Avengers, but they for sure are not the Avengers despite having Black Widow ripoff, a Hawkeye oh. ripoff, three Captain America ripoffs a ghost and a literal Marvel Superman. No, not the cavalry. Now obviously this tagline in the movie will be a million times better but hopefully you get the idea of what I'm trying to put across. Asterisks are often also placed before a dash, which ties into my next point. The fourth reason might just be a continuation. Now this is sort of an informal use in the English language. Imagine you're writing an exam. I know, I know, I don't want to bring up those dark days but for the sake of the example it has to be said. You know when you're writing an exam and then you skip a question because you don't know the answer and then you continue on with the next question and you use up all of the paper and then five minutes later you kick yourself and you figure out the answer to that question you just skipped. Only to find out that you don't have enough space to answer the rest of the question. So what you do is you put a star and then you find an empty piece of paper and you continue it with the star. Now it might just be me who does this but I'm pretty sure some of you out there might do this. This could be what Marvel is doing with the title. Marvel could have more in store for the title. For example, this movie could potentially tease a Dark Avengers movie, and the title to the movie might have an asterisk at the start of that name, signaling that that movie is a sort of continuation of the story told in this one. So Marvel might just be trying something new where the title of the movie is something like Thunderbolts dash the Dark Avengers. But since it is split across two movies, they had to put an asterisk and innovate with something new. And last but not least, the fifth reason might be because this isn't even the title of the movie, more a placeholder name for marketing purposes and the real title will be revealed at the end of the movie, a lot like how Falcon and Winter Soldier was called Falcon and Winter Soldier until episode 6 when, at the end, it got renamed to Captain America and the Winter Soldier. The real title for the movie might just be something along the lines of Dark Avengers, or they even get the presidential approval and the asterisk gets removed provided Thunderbolts Ross is still in power by the end of Captain America 4. So with this all done, I called up my friend with all the evidence in hand to convince him to watch the movie with me, and it's time to ask the big question. So. Will you watch the Thunderbolts with me? No.